The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant on Friday against Vladimir Putin, accusing him of being responsible for war crimes committed in Ukraine. The court said in a statement that the Russian president is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population children and that of unlawful transfer of population children from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. It also issued a warrant for the arrest for Maria Alexeyevna Lvovobolova, Russia's commissioner for children's rights, on similar allegations. Moscow has denied allegations of war crimes since it invaded Ukraine in February last year. Sir Jeffrey Nice, who was lead prosecutor at Slobodan Milosevic's trial, says news of the ICC issuing an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin is extremely important and not just symbolic. He said the move could even encourage the process of Putin's replacement. There's enough information seeping out to indicate that there are some unhappy with his leadership, he said, adding that having your leader labeled and treated as a criminal throughout the world might make a change in regime more palatable or appealing to Russians. Sir Jeffrey said, it's important because this man is now, as many would say he should have been a few weeks after the war started labeled as a criminal, he said. This is now a right war, a just war, as far as Ukraine is concerned, and a criminally-led war so far as Russia is concerned. And that is extremely valuable. Separating children from their families, depriving them of any opportunity to contact their relatives, hiding children on Russian territory, scattering them in remote regions, all this is obviously Russian state policy, state decisions, state evil. These were the words of the president of Ukraine as he reacted to news the International Criminal Court has issued a warrant for Vladimir Putin's arrest over suspected child deportations. Volodymyr Zelensky said it would have been impossible to carry out such a criminal operation without Vladimir Putin, in a post on Telegram. He called the court's decision a historic one from which historical responsibility will begin. U.S. President Joe Biden has said Russian President Vladimir Putin has committed war crimes and the International Criminal Court's ICC decision to issue an arrest warrant for him was justified. Well, I think it's justified. But the question is, it's not recognized internationally by us either. But I think it makes a very strong point, Mr. Biden told reporters. A State Department spokesperson said, There is no doubt that Russia is committing war crimes and atrocities in Ukraine, and we have been clear that those responsible must be held accountable. At least 6,000 Ukrainian children have been held in at least 43 Russian camps and facilities, according to a U.S. report. Yale University researchers found the facilities made up a large-scale systematic network in a study published last month. Moscow has denied accusations its forces have committed war crimes, and the Kremlin branded the International Criminal Court's decision to issue an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin as null and void. Ukraine estimates the number of stolen children is closer to 16,000, with just 300 of them returned home so far. On other side, in Russia, Sergei Markov, former advisor and spokesman to Vladimir Putin responded that the International Criminal Court is irresponsible and stupid. It is a policy of the Russian government to save children, not to steal children, he said, responding the court's warrant for Mr. Putin's arrest over alleged child abductions. He claimed children were not deported but instead moved within Russia because Ukraine is part of Russian territory. Parents were allowed to visit their children every week, he added. He said he expects more allegations from the ICC because it is under the full control of the European Union who will continue to spread fake news. Mr. Markov accused Kiev of carrying out war crimes without providing evidence. The Slovakian government has approved a plan to send MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine, the Prime Minister has announced this morning. It is the second NATO member to heed Ukraine's pleas for fighter jets from allies. Announcing the decision, Edward Heger, the prime minister, said his government is on the right side of history. Slovakia's fleet of 13 planes was retired last summer and most are not in operational condition at present. It comes a day after Poland said it would send four MiG-29 jets to Ukraine in the coming days. Poland and Slovakia, which are on the NATO military alliance's eastern flank, have been strong backers of Ukraine since the Russian invasion last year. 
Denmark's Prime Minister also said yesterday that Western nations are debating whether to send fighter jets to Ukraine. Meta Fredriksson told Danish TV2 today, this is something we're discussing in the group of allied countries. It's a big wish from Ukraine. The US has flown its first surveillance drone over the Black Sea since Russian plane interference led to one crashing. An ARC U-4 Global Hawk flew a mission to the region, following Pentagon officials repeatedly stressing the incident would not stop its activities in the area. Two Russian fighter jets attempted to pour fuel on an MQ-9 drone on Tuesday, before one clipped its propeller and the drone crashed into the sea, according to the US. Despite the Pentagon released a video purportedly showing the incident, Russia has denied the accusations, claiming the drone operators accidentally crashed it themselves. Earlier today, we reported how its defense ministry intends to give the pilots involved in the incident state awards.